Hello there, a very good evening to you. It's Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live. Friday night, nothing gets past me. Friday the 3rd of February 2017. I thought I'd just pop up and say hi to you. I'm just in from an excellent evening tonight, so I thought I'll have a word with the world and see what is what. So here we go. So if you've just joined me, a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's Friday Night Special, live on Facebook Live. That is the big one, the one everyone is talking about and the one everyone is watching and the one everyone is listening to. In fact, I suspect Facebook Live is fast becoming the new television and Scotty McClue, its first mega star. So there you are, nothing I can do about that, but it's lovely to hear from you. Uh, Tommy O'Pree is watching, and Chris Matt's watching. Brilliant big man, says Scott King. Yes, Scott, I just thought I'd pop up on a Friday night. As I say, I'm just in from a dinner, doing a bit of uh, public speaking tonight, after dinner speaking. And they've always said when it comes to after dinner speaking, Scotty McClue might not be the cheapest, but he is the best. So that's never a bad thing, I say. To the rest of you, Good evening to the world, of course. We are broadcasting globally live on Facebook Live. Hello from Vancouver, says Richard Bonnet. Gary Cross is watching. Roddy Martin, a very fine chap, is watching. Sean Hornby is watching down in Lancashire. Billy Matheson is watching. Dinky Doo, Billy. What about Brexit, says Heather Carr. Absolutely, Heather. What do you think? Do you think it's going to work out? Or do you think it's going to be a bit of an expensive disaster? Charles McLaughlin, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do from Bunt Island and Fife, says Jim Joplin. What did you have for dinner, says Scott King? Tonight it was the roast beef with all the trimmings, so very nice. And of course, they had to serve a lot of people and did it very, very well. Plus all the fine wines, the pudding wine. Oh, my goodness me. Never a dull moment. All right, from Northern Ireland, here, Scotty, says Mick Smith. Absolutely, Mick. Lovely to hear from you there, over in God's country. Now then, I love your bow tie, says Heather. Of course, aubergine, Heather, that's aubergine. Um, Richard Bonnet, when are they going to separate? Well, of course, the whole thing about Brexit is nothing's actually happened yet. So we don't know what's going on. We'll have to find out. Cracking bow time, a good man, says Alex Duff. Dinky do, Alex. I hope nobody minds, but I thought we'll pop up and say hi on a Scotty McClue Friday night special. All I would ask of you is that you get the what out there. Now, if you go on to Scotty's Facebook page, you will see various links from a lot of activity. Thank you for that, I say. Very much appreciated. The quicker we get out of the EU, the better, says Mick Smith. So he must know something that the rest of us don't. Heard you like the beef, Scotty Lol, said Rab Hill. Excellent, Rab. A wee joke there. We like that. The British people will make Brexit work, says Heather Carr. She has great faith in the British people. Of course, by that stage, Scotland might be independent, you see. Can you wish my cat a happy birthday? He's free today. Mr. Freddy the Cat. Jonathan Welsh. Of course I can. You're looking good, says Richard Bonnet. I thank you and love to Vancouver, Richard, and to all our Canadian friends, our Canadian cousins, most of whom will have their roots in Scotland. And the one thing I will say, which is absolutely fantastic, we love you, Mr. Trudeau. He is really cutting a dash in Scotland. Angie Thompson's watching, you generous, generous lady. Thank you, Angie. Hugh Miller's watching. Uh, this is no usually a Sunday, says Robbie Bain. Yes, we'll be on on Sunday, Robbie, but what I thought I'd do, I'd pop up tonight, Friday night, and say hi to the nation. So Scotty McClure, with you for about an hour tonight and i thought we'd have a wee chit chat brexit has sent labor into the dark ages says louis faber louis you're not wrong there chum i'll tell you that love the doctor the bow ties are cool yes do you think scotty mcclue would make a good doctor who <laughs> 
bring on the Daleks. Right. Uh, agree with me, but independence means out of Europe. Well, not necessarily. If Scotland goes independent, then it can stay in Europe. What I suggested would be good. Um, you know, Hugh Miller's asking, I've been to fancy dinner. Very fancy dinner tonight, Hugh. None of your nonsense. I was speaking. I'm not going to work on Monday, Scotty, because my goldfish died tonight, says Peter McCree. Peter, I'm so sorry to hear about our little gold friend. So there you are. Uh, I see you're not far off the five million mark. Go on yourself, says Alec Duff. He is, of course, referring to the fact that uh, the other day I opened a GoFundMe account. And uh, we're going to raise five million pounds so we can purchase media assets. Know what I mean? So there we are. Because if you think about it, it's time we had independent media assets. But you guys have to do your bit. If you've got a fiver or a tenner or 50 quid or a grand or whatever, a pound, stick it into GoFundMe, Scotty McClue. You'll see it there, www.gofundme, put in Scotty McClue, up it'll come. You'll see somebody's put, I think it's 180 pounds is in there already. And if you want to stick a quid in, great. Scotty had some laugh in the old phone-in days. Real Radio, Scott FM. Bring it back, says Rab Hill. Absolutely, Rab. Not according to the polls, says Heather. Heather, you'd be as well listening to the polis as the polls. So there you go. Um, so don't listen to any of that rubbish, Heather. You make up your mind, get your act together. Lovely jacket too, says Heather. Yes, people watching in the know will know what these colours are. So there you are, never a dull moment. Liverpool radio not the same since yourself and Mr. Kev Seed departed. Very bland radio these days. Good luck with the five million, McClue FM. How fabulous, Jonathan Welch. Thank you for that, Jonathan. I know it's ambitious. I know it's big stuff, but I know people. And the people are good. And they will find a quid or a fiver. In fact, we should all do it during the programme, get a quid and a fiver and stick it into GoFundMe. What a rare treat seeing you on live tonight, Mr. McClue, says James Forbes. James, the privilege, the pleasure, and the honour is all mine to be with you wonderful people live on a Friday night. As I say, I'm just in from a dinner. I sneaked off early. So there you go. Well, you don't want the speaker hanging around at the end, do you, for goodness sake? And um, also, Scotty, Ask Donald for a few quid, says uh, Mick Smith. Well, we might do that. We might do that. Uh, so there you are. Sorry, I'm going to get taxed more, says Heather Carr. Well, if you're a very high earner, Heather, then yes, you will be uh, putting a few more quid in. Uh, what do you reckon about being fined for taking kids out of school for holidays, says Steve Burrows. An interesting one, and of course, uh, it depends where you are on the planet how that is enforced. Thank you for the Friday night treat. Nice to see you too, says Richard Burnett. How many Rab Bond suppers did you manage to attend this year, Scotty, says Louis Faber? Well, if the buses and trains are running on time, you can get round, um, you know, one or two a night, Louis. Some of them uh, start early. Some people like to start at six o'clock if there's young people there. And then, of course, you can get in and speak at the big one. How many people are watching just now, Scotty? Well, we've got uh, 20 up on the meter. And last week, you will find the total was well over 8,000. Because what happens is, everybody goes, oh, I missed Scotty live. And if you all share it round, and you type a little message on your Facebook and say, are you watching Scotty McClue live right now? Then uh, that makes a terrific difference as well. Did you leave before the pudding, says Hugh Miller. Um, well, no. I spoke after the pudding. Uh, I think we should have the speeches first and then the meal later. I found my Scott FM fridge magnet. Do you think it's an antique of the future, says Heather Carr? Absolutely, Heather. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio moment, without a doubt. It has never, ever, ever been surpassed. And of course... What happened to Scott FM? An English company bought it and neutered it. 
So the speech went, everything that was popular went, and it ended up just as another music radio station. Richard Frediani is watching, perhaps our finest news editor in the country. Tremendous. You'll see Richard Frediani's name on our news programs. And uh, also, uh, Richard Burnett, you've just shared the video. I thank you for that. Were you a guest speaker, says Louis Faber? I was indeed, Louis. Scotty McClure is not the cheapest after-dinner speaker, but apparently he is the best. So there you are. They only get about 15, 20 minutes, and they, and they love all that. I loved Scott FM, says Heather Carr. Uh, BH says, uh, Ghani Hussein, here's a blast from the past. I used to love listening to you when you were in Sheffield. Yes, of course, Ghani. Sheffield, Hallam FM, a wonderful station. And uh, I loved Sheffield. I, was, I lived in Sheffield twice. So there you are, and had such a fab time. What's your thoughts about single mothers now, Scotty? Are you still keeping your hund and your hapney? That would be my advice to all the young single mothers out there. Keep your hund on your hapney. So there we are, wonderful stuff. And um, also, guys, you'll see I popped up this week and explained myself on a couple of GoFundMe videos. One was done last Saturday when we started off the fund, and the other was done on, um, when was it, Wednesday night or something like that. You'll see me with a blue jumper on, a bit informal, the open neck shot. You know, all that, bit rough looking. But um, that'll explain all the GoFundMe stuff to you. And if you can spare a fiver, stick it in there. Mick Smith says, how? How, Mick? Excellent. I didn't realize that you spoke North American native Indian. That's tremendous. And uh, keep your calls coming, guys. We're on the Skype. If anybody wants to Skype in, Scotty, Dr. McClure. No, we're not on the Skype. We've been on the Skype tonight. We're on the Skype. So there you are. So if you'd like to call in, do feel free to do so. I'm glad you do this, Scotty, but it's better than the radio. The, the callers make the show. Peter McQueer, you can call now. The callers make the show on here. This is the new radio and television. Think about it. What have you got on the radio now that is an appointment to listen? Like you, you listen to Scotty McClure. You think, Scotty McClure's on the radio? Nothing else. Everything else goes off. Everything stops for the Scotty McClure show. Everybody gets round the radio, right? Now, we've got Facebook Live, and it's natural, and it's interactive. You're interacting on here right now. And, of course, you can call in, and we can chit-chat. So there you are. I think you should take over Jeremy Vine on Radio 2 and make life more interesting, says Heather Carr. I think we were talking this week the government should fund a national radio phone-in for me and say, Scotty, we will give you top billing and uh, you can get on with it. Cheer the nation up. Find out what they're doing. See, you'd never have had any problems with Brexit or the Scottish referendum if Scotty McClue had been live on air for everyone to talk to so that I could inform, educate and entertain you. Radio same songs four times an hour uh, or about football. Boring, boring, says Angie Thompson. Very, very generous Angie Thompson, who made a fine donation to Scotty McClure's GoFundMe fund this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Angie Thompson. Very much appreciated. Uh, some single mothers just do it for the benefits, says Steve Burrows. He thinks that they're at the one-two buckle my shoe. No, 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 says Mick Smith. The SNP have messed up the land I came from. Ah, no, 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 I don't think so, Mick Smith. I think you'll find Westminster have messed up the land you came from. Peter McKeer says you should get Kay Adams' job. I'm not after any of this job, Peter. I'm doing my job right here and now. Uh, also, your class, but I've got to say, you've got the face for radio. What's your phone number, says Rab Hill? Scotty.McClue on Skype. Get on to that, Rab, and you and I shall chat, and you can apologize for commenting about my beautiful, beautiful face. Lol, 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 says Heather Carr, and to you, my darling. The SNP steal from the rich and give to the lazy, says Louis Fibber. So there you are. Well, what would you call austerity, Louis? 
Uh, the drop tosses of Barnsley ring any bells, says Gary is in. Absolutely. In Barnsley in Yorkshire, you'll find that the ladies' bottoms are about two inches lower than the national average. Amazing. So uh, I could tell you that. And I invented a thing called the Barnsley Bum Lifter. And the ladies could strap that on. Because if there were burglars, you know, their bottoms would wipe out the footprints. The ladies could strap these on and lift their bottoms up a couple of inches. Uh, you know, you need to get into them. It's a set of straps and things like that. Uh, so there we are. So we're talking about that as well. Uh, do feel free to come on if you've just joined us. If you've popped up on your Facebook and you think, what on earth is happening right now? Who is this guy? The answer's Scotty McClue, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. The McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. We are live right now doing a Scotty McClue Friday night special live on Facebook Live just to see who's about. Did you ever see the movie Crocodile Dundee? And he gets out a whirry thing and spins it round. <sighs> And uh, his uh, good lady says to him, what are you doing? He says, just saying who's about. So there you are. So, I mean, Facebook Live, we're just seeing who's about. Bum lifters, did you say? Says Angie Thompson. Yes, the bum lifters. Uh, Austerity is the evaluation of personal wealth and living within your means, says Louis Faber. So there you are. I don't think so, Louis. I think you've got yourself a bit wandered there. You're a very, very clever man, but you're obviously listening to some duff gen. Catherine Shaw is watching. A fine lady. Welcome, 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 Catherine Shaw. Lovely to hear from you on a Friday night live with me, Scotty McClue. On Facebook Live, the new television just for you saying, Dinky Doo, get the tolls back and prescription fees back. What tolls, Heather? What are you on about? You're talking about tolls on the bridge. You're an awful character, I'll tell you. David Lafferty is watching. Dinky do to you, David Lafferty from me, Scotty McClure. Who is this madman, lol? Says Steve Burrows. It's me, Scotty McClure, just for you, Dinky do. I, I can't mind what they call the Aboriginal people use them. Yes, the. Fantastic. Just seeing who's about. Any listeners currently listening in far off exotic lands? If so, hello and dinky do from Edinburgh, says Alex Duff. Yes, if you're watching throughout the world, if you're in Canada, America, Russia, China, Japan, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Australia, New Zealand, come on and have a chat with us, dinky do. Right. The thing out of Crocodile Dundee, says Angie. Yes, I know, Angie. I know what you were talking about. Uh, so there we are. Yes, yes, says Heather. I'll find out, says Angie. Good. If you can find that out, Angie, that would be tremendous. To all of you who've just joined us, a warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. Normally, we do a Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp. I will be seeing you this Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp. If you've got a Twitter account right now, go and just follow Scotty McClure. S-C-O-T-T-I-E-M-C-C-L-U-E, all one word, at Scotty McClue on Twitter. Go there and follow me, the new, and uh, that's that. Also, uh, you will see a Facebook page with about 5,207 likes. Can you also check out that Facebook page and share it, send it around? I know it's a big ask, but this program is for every single one of us. So there you are. We're all gaining from it. Heather's correct. It's free and free that in Scotland. People of upper incomes can afford to pay. I should be paying for their kids to go to university and can afford an £8 prescription. Yeah, but you don't want to be differentiating like that and say, oh, you're working, you've got money, you'd better pay up. All that sort of stuff. I mean, if it's genuine that we're doing a bit of socialism, Louis, then obviously McClue's up for that. Look after your brothers and sisters out there in the universe. And uh, remember, when it comes to racism, and we're needing to tell them this in America, there is only one race, the human race, and we're all brothers and sisters. Excellent stuff. Right, now, it's uh, just after a quarter to midnight. So can you share and share and share this video? 
right now. That would be tremendous. If you want to Skype me, Scotty Dot McLuhan, we can have a chit chat. And remember to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McLuhan at 10 o'clock sharp on Sunday night, 2200 hours GMT. Fantastic stuff. Now, uh, what's going on here? Let me see. Oh, busy, busy stuff on Facebook. I can tell you that for nothing. Wow. Tremendous. Now, if you've got a spare fiver and you'd like to uh, help to fund the program, then do feel free to stick that into GoFundMe.com. Go to GoFundMe.com forward slash the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClue hyphen show. The Scotty McClue show. And uh, stick some pennies in there. We've got a lot of very, very generous people. So if you can stick a fiver into Scotty McClure's GoFundMe, then uh, go and do that now and I'll give you a mention. Fiona Summers is watching Dinky Doo. If you were a character in a film, Scotty, who would you be? Well, now, I've thought about this. I think I'd make an excellent Doctor Who. I think I would make a very good M in James Bond. I think probably uh, I could be um, in one of these. I could I could be in Doctor Finley's case book. I could be Doctor Cameron. I could play Doctor Cameron. I think we could do that. Uh, what's your views on Donald? Says Heather. We don't actually know Donald Heather. He's having a lot of carry on at the moment and putting a few noses out of joint. But we need to get to know Donald. Remember. No president is actually popular at the start because half of the people's noses have been put out of joint. So there you are. So we'll find out what Donald's like. Uh, so Peter McCrea says, go fund me for my parking tickets. You shouldn't be getting parking tickets. Uh, shared, but most of the people I know will be absolutely reeking by now. They'll just need to listen to your dulcet tones with their hangover, says Alex Duff. Well, of course. There's going to be one or two people coming on now who have had a light refreshment, Alex. True, Scotty, one race, the human race. What about the human race that think it's okay to kill in the name of their so-called God? Well, there is only one God, and religion has never, ever, ever, ever caused a problem in the world. Never. So there's no point in trying to pull that when religion is not a problem. What does cause a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding of religion. So if it's Islam or Judaism or Christianity or um, one of the denominations of Christianity, the old Christianity, Catholicism, Protestantism from the Protestants, the Reformation spreading across Europe, spreading across Scotland, Old Henry VIII falling out with the Holy Father, falling out with the Pope and wanting to start a church so that he can um, carry on as an adulterer. Uh, and there you are, all that sort of thing. But if you've got the knowledge and understanding, there's not a problem. You think, by the way, that chap needs to do certain things because of his religion, okay, so... I hope you'll trig on to that. Oh, no problem at all. That's fine, Scotty. Oh, you have nice eyes, says Rab Hill. Lol, plus I've not got a spare set for a fiver, but I've got a fully furnished flat plus 400 grand in the bank. <laughs> See more, says Rab. We have a second to you. <laughs> 400 grand in the bank. And oh, I can't even see the rest, Rab. It's moving up too fast. And do you think his security detail will shout, Donald? Duck to protect the president. Very, very good. Very good, Louis. Uh, uh, nope. Duck Donald, says Peter McQueen. <laughs> what are you guys like, for goodness sake? You are a scream. Religion has caused so much aggro in our family, says Heather Carr. You get on to listening to Scotty McClure talking about religion on YouTube. So there you are. Oh, that's another thing. Can everybody go Scotty McClure? YouTube channel. Put it on and like and follow and share. That's all I'm asking of you. Uh, we learned RE in school, says Angie. I live with all sorts where I live 
and I don't bother them, and they don't bother me. Of course not. Why should they bother you? Why should you bother them? People are people. Religion and money, the root of all evil. Heather, you've obviously had a bad experience, dear. Um, you know, money and religion can be very, very, very useful indeed. So there you are. So I wouldn't say they're the root of all evil. I heard a wee one singing one day, Mummy is the root of all evil. She'd misunderstood it. Mummy is the root of all evil. <laughs> I love it. So there you are. And um, anyway, talking of money, as I say, this program is absolutely free and you're not in any way obligated. But if you can help with the Scotty McClue GoFundMe fund, that would be tremendous. Some people have been incredibly generous and put a fair bit of dosh in. And yes, there's a lot of people laughing out there. They're saying, five million, good Scotty, you'll never do that. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. I can tell you that right now. They all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laughed when Edison discovered sound. Alex Robertson watching. I hope you're keeping well, Alex. I know you've had a tough time recently. One or two wee health challenges. But uh, I hope you're well and that you are uh, back as a thespian. Excellent stuff. I've got friends who are Muslim, and they're lovely people, says Angie. Of course, Angie. Defo Scotty, says Heather Carp. Do I need a TV license to watch this, says Louis? No, you do not, Louis. This is an internet television program, and this, too, I think, is the new TV. What I'm going to do when we get some money flowing in, we'll buy little bits of equipment and see if we can improve the production values. So that's what we'll do there. Know what they say, Scotty? Slowly, slowly, catch your monkey, says Angie Thompson. I could not agree more. It's tremendous. And um, do go on to Scotty's YouTube channel because there's about 180 videos, I think, or something like that. I should know about my own YouTube channel. But there's about 180 videos. Some of them are audio videos, if you get what I mean. They're, uh, they're bits from from some of the shows on the radio. Fantastic. So, uh, yes, I mean, the whole thing about the GoFundMe for Scotty McClure is from Little Acorns Great Oaks Will Grow. So the Doubting Thomases have laughed at me for years, but we've always, always delivered. Scotty McClure is in his Silver Jubilee year, 25 years of delivering massive audiences and making media moguls very very wealthy indeed i mean i uh, built up radio stations and they sold for millions so there you are i was in the armed forces says jim joplin and i worked with all religions and we all wore the same uniform and did the same job absolutely uh, so there you are you need a better radio dj haha -ha. only joking scotty but you could do with some better lighting and a dash of makeup. I think I've got some makeup somewhere, but you don't want to choke up your pores. It's just to take the shine off the face. The lighting's absolutely fine. A little bit bright, perhaps. Uh, you know, we could probably turn down some of the lights. But the lighting, uh, I would say, is absolutely excellent. If you look at other people's Facebook videos, there you are. That's better, isn't it? There's another bit of light for you. Is that better? I thought you'd like that. Uh, wonderful stuff. So there we are, Rap Hill, £20, um, there we go, and uh, what else have we got on here? My goodness, we are busy. That's fantastic. I thought it was a good idea, if you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's happening, you say, who's the guy I'm seeing on my Facebook? It's me, it's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. We're broadcasting globally throughout the world. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Send this round right now. Share it and share it and share it. And take the time to go on your Facebook, type a message to all your followers and say, can you follow Scotty McClure on Facebook? Actually follow me because there's never going to be room for all the people who want to befriend Scotty McClure. We'll be well over the befriending limit for Facebook. Also, you'll see on my Facebook page there, You'll see the link for GoFundMe, and that would be great if you could pop something in there. Pop in a pound or a fiver for a laugh, and I'll give you a mention on here. Um, so, I'll check out your YouTube channel, but quite frankly, I'll be disappointed 
if there isn't a video of you reenacting I want to break free by Queen. I want to break free. Yep, absolutely. And uh, John Brown and four others have just shared the video. We appreciate that, John. That is great. Dinky Doo, can the rest of you all share? That would be fantastic. I love the one, the depressed guy you were telling jokes. It cheers me up, says Andy Thomas. Oh, that's Rob from Southport. Scotty McClure talks to Rob from Southport. Do you know, Angie, that uh, has had 196,000 views. 196,000 views. The Scotty McClure website has had 10 million views. On the Facebook channel is 270,000 views. Not bad. So those of you who have got a Reddit account, take the Scotty McClure videos, stick them on, on Reddit and share them in the videos on there. That would be smashing. So if you've got a Reddit account, this is how social media works. It's the feeding of the 5,000, the parable of the feeding of the 5,000. This is the feeding of the 5 billion. Evan Thompson's watching. Dinky do to you. You have gone off air, says Keith Hodgson. No, Keith, I think you have lost the link. I don't think we've gone off air at all. Have you ever been to New Lanark? I love that place as a wee boy, says Louis Faber. Louis, I was visiting New Lanark and I was having a, a cup of tea in the tea shop. Robert Owen, I love Robert Owen's educational ideas for the children. I loved his ideas for the mills, making them nicer places for people to work, reducing the concept of slave labor. We could learn a lot from Robert Owen in New Lanark right now. So look up Robert Owen and New Lanark. And he wanted the children in the school, no books, only singing and dancing till the age of seven. So there you are, singing and dancing to the age of seven. That's Robert Owen for you. That's Scotland for you. But I have to tell you this little story. I uh, was in the tea shop and I purchased a newspaper. It was the Sunday Post. I thought, I'll have a look at the post. And I've got my cup of tea and I'd spread it out on the table and I was turning the pages of the post. And I saw, I didn't know anything about this, I saw that Scotty McClure had been nominated for the rector of Stirling University. So there you are, the Lord Rector of Stirling University, McClure S. And the other two were Ian Banks, Banksy, the author, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man. Miss him terribly, Ian Banks, and um, His Royal Highness, the Prince Edward. So there you are, His Royal Highness, Prince Edward. And uh, that was the three nominations. So you had Ian Banks, His Royal Highness, Prince Edward, and Scotty McClure nominated as Rector of Stirling University. Fantastic stuff. There you are, it's brilliant. My son sings on a Friday home time. Your wee cheery o song to his teacher, says Angie Thompson. Oh, gee. we'll have the cheery o song tonight. I think that would be good. Did you ever do any work with the late Sir Terry Wogan? I loved that man's relief. No, but I adored Terry Wogan. I actually used to have him on every single morning when Radio 2 was the radio station to listen to. And what I would do, I would listen to uh, Terry Wogan in the morning and then Jimmy Young. And I used to phone in to Jimmy Young. He didn't put you on air, but you could put your point. And he would say that uh, I'd phoned from Glasgow and I had something to say. And then, of course, Ken Bruce, wonderful, wonderful broadcaster as well on Radio 2. So when you had Terry Wogan, Jimmy Young, Ken Bruce, Robin Boyle, Brian Matthew, um, all these wonderful radio two people. Ray Moore, of course, if you were up early in the morning, you got the late, great Ray Moore. Wonderful, wonderful broadcasting, these guys, because they knew how to talk to an audience. And I, one of my dreams was actually to go on to Radio 2, and it may yet well happen. It just takes somebody who's very switched on to say, do you know, Scotty McClure would be great on Radio 2. So there you are. That's what I think. Did you see the woman on a program? She didn't send her wains to school. They play computer games all day. What do you think of that, says Angie Thompson? No, 
I think no, no, absolutely not, Angie. I mean, two things are at stake here. We will, in education, have to start interacting more with information technology. Already this happens in schools. There's a lot of ICT training and, uh, and what have you. But there has to also be uh, a period when people say, no, enough is enough. Look at the children walking about on the phones all the time. And if they're only looking as close as that, we could lose evolution. Um, in evolution terms, we could lose our long sight. So there you are. Do you remember the late great Lex McLean, says Evan Thompson? I do. In fact, I remember going to see Lex McLean, and he was one of my great inspirations. Francie and Josie, of course, as well. Ricky Fulton and Jack Milroy. And uh, I used to go and see them as well. Does anybody remember We Alec Finley and his royal clansmen? And also, of course, the late, great Sir Harry Lauder, my mother, uh, attended his farewell concert. I think it was 1948. And, um, of course, I found out last week his funeral was in Hamilton. And it was the biggest he's in the, in the uh, Bent Cemetery in Hamilton. And because um, he had Lauder Hall out at Straven. And he was the highest paid performer in the world. He used to take his new Rolls Royce on board the big Cunarders, ships like the Titanic and that, the Aquitania and the Mauritania, and Sir Harry would go round America. And remember in those days, no television, uh, no radio to speak of, uh, nothing like that. And he was the highest paid performer in the world, Sir Harry Lauder. Wonderful, wonderful character. And I found out that the Duke of Hamilton, the uh, uh, late Duke of Hamilton, uh, twice removed, so uh, Angus Douglas Hamilton's father, the late Angus Douglas Hamilton, who died quite recently, his father, the old Duke of Hamilton, the one that uh, Rudolf Hess landed and wanted to speak to, he uh, read the lesson at, uh, at Sir Harry Lauder's funeral. So there you are, so never a dull moment. Uh, Lex McLean was wonderful. I loved Lex, all his carry on. Ah, oh, Lex, Lex, you don't know that. Can I, can I tell you? Um, some schools give their pupils iPads to use in the classrooms, and that's what Wells is doing. Absolutely, Louis. We're not against information technology, but I think there has to be a balance because the one person that can't be replaced by a computer, right? There was a survey who could be replaced by a computer, and apparently waiters and waitresses could be replaced by a computer. There was actually a 90, um, 93 or 94% chance that you could do that. So you could put a card in, order your meal, get your meal from uh, a vending machine or whatever. But the one thing you can never, ever replace with a computer are teachers. Never replace the teachers with computers because people need that human interaction. Remember, the human brain is always miles ahead of computers. Right, Scotty, bedtime. I'm up at four to clean the sh out of the cuckoo clocks of Rab Hill. Absolutely. And uh, your signature tune on the radio, there's a moose loose uh, above this goose. That was a classic. That was when Scotty was on. That was based on Lord Rockingham's 11, of course. There's a moose loose about the suit. Da -da 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 -da. We live down at a place in Motherwell, and I can show you where the tomb is. It's been really vandalized now, says uh, Angie Thompson. My goodness me, which tomb, Angie? Harry Lauders. He's in Hamilton, is he not? Uh, the video keeps stopping, says Peter. Not at all, Peter. I don't know where you're getting that from. You must have a problem. The Hamiltons, says Angie Thompson. Everyone is just becoming drones addicted to little screens. Most millennials have no concept of writing an essay by hand, says Remo Pacitti. Remo, are you in Australia right now? Do tell us. What's the time here? Let's see what's going on. Uh, oh, my goodness me. You're watching Scotty McClure, folks. It's just gone midnight. Yes, just gone midnight. And we've gone from Friday into Saturday morning. A very, very good morning to all of you. From me, Scotty McClure, and a warm welcome to our um, late night show. Our late night show, our early morning show. Um, live on Facebook Live. The one everyone's talking about. The one everyone is watching. If you're feeling generous and um, strong in heart, and you want to contribute to uh, funding the Scotty McClure program, 
feel free to do so if you go to GoFundMe and put in The Scotty McClue Show, then uh, I will pop up and uh, you can add something to the fund, even if it's a pound or a fiver, folks. Stick a fiver in. The Duke and Duchess of Hamilton, says Angie Thompson. Absolutely. The Hoose, says Steve Burrows. Margaret Bonner. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Margaret. Lovely to hear from you and Dinky Doo. Scotty McClue just doing a Friday night special just for you live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. We are broadcasting globally right now. Is Scotty McClue the new TV? No long adverts to put up with. Nothing to have you busting into tears about serious illnesses and disease and all that sort of thing. I'm not in any way belittling that, but where are the laughs in entertainment? Where's the fun? Gone to 1am, says Billy McCare. I am indeed in Australia. It's just gone 8am here, says Remo Pasiti. Remo, you will be going for your full Scottish breakfast. Have you considered doing a 24-hour non-stop show? That could build major publicity, says Louis Faber. Louis, I am up for anything. I've now been broadcasting for, what did I say to you, 40 years? Is that right? 30 years. No. No. 40 years. I joined the profession in 1977. 40 years. I've been broadcasting on television and radio for 33 years this year. So I'm up for a laugh, up for a wee bit of fun. Do you know what I'm saying? Here's the link to Scotty McClure's GoFundMe page, www.gofundme forward slash Scotty, you spelt that wrong, Richard, S-C-O-T-T-I-E hyphen McClure. So there you are. So that's not actually the link. So see if you can redo that one, Richard. That would be appreciated. Uh, yes, Louis, as I say, we're up for a laugh, so whatever's going on. Any chance of the old FM days, Scotty, a phone in? What a laugh, a class act. The problem is I'm not in charge of radio stations at the moment. We message in here for you folks, at the moment. Very, very, very big things are being discussed for Scotty McClue right now, but I've got to keep... I've got to keep that zipped at the moment, so I can't tell you. But I am in and out of boardrooms during the week. So there you are. So you see Scotty McClue tiptoeing out of some major headquarters of media companies or nipping for a quick uh, flight on the easy jet. Then uh, you'll know there's something big afoot. But as soon as I can tell you, I will tell you. That's a snazzy jacket, Scotty. And the people in the know will know what the colours are. So there you are. They will know what the colours are. This uh, comes from Oxford, this jacket, but people in the know will know these colours. Tracy Allman Show on the BBC. I play an excellent um, P-take of Nicola Sturgeon and Mary Black uh, kidnapping J.K. Rowling. Remo, I know, absolutely, but we shouldn't really be sending up people like Nicola because uh, I know that um, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but she's doing a wonderful Wonderful job. Uh, so there you are. No spoilers, sweetie, as a certain doctor wife says. Go to bed. Uh, got to go to bed now, Scotty. I'm up early for another great show. We'll watch on Sunday, says Steve Burrows. Do, Steve. That would be appreciated. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Peter McKeel says his radio CV is as long as your arm. It is. And I have never, ever, ever had a problem. I have never been sacked for saying anything I shouldn't or any of these rumours that go about. There was a couple of times, the Scott FM one was very strange. We didn't get the contract renewed. An English company bought it and decided they'd go down another route. And that was a little bit strange at the time, shall we say. Because Scotty McClure and Scott FM were giving any competitors a good leathering in the marketplace. Um, Mike Lawrenson's watching. Dinky do, Mike. Lovely to hear from you. Lol, nice one. I hope you're not robbing the boardrooms. We'll take care, mate. <laughs> Says Radville. Never trust people with second names. A fish, dodgy fish, give you a right sore tummy. 
So there you are. Alan Lauder is watching, a fine fellow dinky do. Jane McDonald's watching, a superb lady. I say dinky to you, Jane McDonald. Dinky do to you, and a happy Friday evening. We thought we'd pop up and give the nation a good telling on a Friday night. Excellent stuff. And uh, as I say, those of you in the know will know what the colours are on the jacket. I shall bring this up and see. Can you see? Can you spot them, guys? Yes. That's a good nod and a wink. You need to be very much in the know to know what these colours are. And, uh, of course, Scotty McClure is welcome in any of these mess. Uh, no problem at all. Good man, says Gordon Osborne. Dinky-doo, Gordon. Lovely to hear from you. Can everybody share again? Share, 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 share. If you pop into, get a pencil and make a note of all this, folks. If you pop into YouTube and put uh, Scotty McClue YouTube channel, you will see about 100 and, I think it's 190 videos or something like that. Uh, Donald Trump hanging up the phone and shouting at Australian PM Malcolm Turnbull. Thoughts? Well, I don't think you should be shouting at any international politicians like that, to be quite honest. But that's up to him. He's the President of the United States of America. And had I been an American citizen, you may have had uh, President McClure. Because we did a survey and uh, we had Hillary, Donald and Scotty. And Scotty got 76%. There you go. But I'm not an American citizen, but I do say hi to my fellow Americans. And remember, they've voted Donald Trump in, so a lot of people are chuffed to bits that he's there. Paul McGregor's watching. Dinky do to you, Paul McGregor, I say. And let's see if any of you have stuck a fiver into GoFundMe. Um, have you stuck a fiver into GoFundMe? I'm just going to check. Go fund me, see if anyone's stuck a fiver in. There you go. Excellent stuff. We've got 181 pounds. We've just started the fund from Little Acorns, Great Oaks Grow. So if you're feeling generous and you say, I would like to fund McClure because I would like a different type of media, a new type of media. He knows what he's doing. He's been a managing director. He's launched radio stations. He's been a chief executive officer. He's been a programmer. He knows all these things. In fact, he is a programmer. And he is a chief executive officer. And he knows radio inside out. That is the McClure for you. Uh, I might call myself the McClure. President McClure has a nice ring to it, says Angie Thompson. Would you like to see me coming on in uh, all the big American channels? ABC, NBC, CNN, Fox News. Say, my fellow Americans. Good evening to you. So there we go. And I uh, love the jacket, Scotty. It takes a man to wear a jacket like that. That's right. And uh, people watching will know what the colours are, Margaret. There you go. Speciality, that. I uh, thought you were more ambitious than the President of America. Why not go for, break, for broke and become King McClure, says Remo Pathetic. So there we are. I remember calling in at a Scottish town. And when I got out the limousine, the um, crowds were all there. And you'd have thought the Queen was coming. It was very, very humbling. And as you know, I'm a very humble man. And uh, David Lee Weir is watching. Dinky-doo to you, David Lee Weir. Have you all stuck a fiver in the GoFundMe page? Richard, you've put the wrong you've put the wrong URL up there, chum. So if you can change it, Scotty has got an IE and then there's a hyphen between the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClue. So there you go. So it's www.gofundme.com forward slash the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClue. Fantastic. Evening, Scotty, says David Lee Weir. Where you will get the proper link to the GoFundMe page for Scotty McClure, and the video is there explaining it all to you, is uh, if you go to Scotty's Facebook page, you will see the link there. There's been lots of it, and I make no apology, but I do apologise, of course, for all the uh, shares and shares and shares. If the rest of you share at the same rate 
then we will build a massive, massive international global broadcast show that will beat anything on television. I can tell you that right now. Watching, of course, says Sarah Angel. Angel Angle, where are you from, Sarah? Richard Burnett, yes. Scotty McClue, forward slash GoFundMe. No, Richard, not right at all. Richard, go and get a pen and pencil. Tell me when you've got a pen and pencil, and I will give you the proper URL, and you can put it up for me. That would be tremendous. Has anybody stuck a fiver in? Let's see. I can actually see the GoFundMe page here. It's great fun. And we'll see if anybody's switched on enough to stick something in for Scotty McClure. Go fund me. Ah, yes. Five pounds. It just takes your card. Five pounds. And, of course, it's a great way to do it because everybody can see the totals. And at the moment, um, people always laugh when you start something off. Everybody laughs at you. That's why I gave up being a comedian because people were just laughing at me all the time. And um, I thought to myself, right, so there we are. So the GoFundMe page, Scotty McClure. If you haven't shared Scotty, I wouldn't have known he was on tonight, says Angie. So there you are. Angie, I just popped up tonight just to say hi. Friday night, bit of fun and, uh, of course, a bit of banter. And I thought, I'll pop up. I've been out at a dinner, speaking at the dinner. I thought, what I'll do is I'll uh, pop up and say hi to the world um, just to say dinky do. Jing Scotty, you're better at this tech stuff than me. Ian Cook is watching up in Dundee, a very fine fellow and a first class organist. Evan Thompson says, remember when Red Rum was the chieftain at the Bears Den Highland Games? Yes, the Bears Den Highland Games have nothing but the best as chieftains. They've had um, a George Tacky. So there you are, they had George Tacky, they had Sir Douglas Bowder, the flyer, they had Red Rum, the racehorse, as the chief, and they had Scotty McClure as the chieftain. So there you are, you'll see photos of Scotty McClure. Sarah Angle, our angel, says, I'm in five, Scotty, and it is as in the heavenly body. So it's Sarah Angel. What a lovely name. Angel with two L's. Ian Cook there, as I say, up in Dundee. A very, very fine organist. Jing Scotty. Scotty, when you reach your target, take the show on the road and broadcast from various world landmarks. Remo, I was thinking that tonight. Great minds think alike. You and I must be septic. Because uh, I was actually thinking that tonight. I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful to go and broadcast from different parts of the world? But at the moment, we need to get the pennies in. We need to get the funding in. And um, GoFundMe is by far the best way of doing it because people know what they're putting in and they know what they're getting out. And it's great value for money. You don't have to pay. Scotty McClure is free. But it would be wonderful if you would all just take five quid and say, I can afford to give five quid to Scotty. Yeah, no problem at all. And if everybody did that, we'd build up the funds and we'd get the show on the road. Richard Mackay, www.gofundme.com forward slash the hyphen Scotty hyphen McClue hyphen show dot com. I don't think there's a dot com at the end of that, Richard. So if you take the dot com off the end, you'll probably find you've got the right URL there. That would be tremendous. Mrs. McClue can have a builder's, uh, a builder's tea with no sugar. Or is she away taking wee Clyde for a walk, says Angie Thompson. Wee Clyde needs to go for a walk. I'll just have a wee cup of tea here. Seize the day, folks. Seize the day. Can you all see that? Seize the day. Mm. Oh, that's lush. That's fantastic. We're no septic. We're psychic, says Angie. I know. Angie, it was a wee joke, dear. It's a wee in-joke. We must be septic, you know. Uh, so there you are. Scotty does a wee joke. Scotty, do you have recordings of all your radio broadcasts? Yes, Peter, we do. If you go on to uh, YouTube and put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel, everything will come up there and you will get a right good listen. Get yourself a camper van, says David Lee Weir. Absolutely, David. A camper van and a small vessel, a boat, and we can go and take the show on the road. The technology is there now, so that would be tremendous. Can we have another share, folks? Can everybody watching share their Facebook Live video right now? 
share, 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 share. That would be tremendous. Richard, it's four times I've tried. Get to your bed, says Rab Hill. Rab, can you go on to Scotty McClue's site and lift up the URL for GoFundMe? Or if it's easier, folks, go to the GoFundMe page and put in Scotty McClue of the Scotty McClue Show and it will come up. You'll see there's 181 pounds we have raised of our five million pound target and we will do it i can and i will this is the moment and i am the one and the poor old doubting thomas's scotty mcclue has never ever ever let the nation down yet and i have no intention of doing so uh, graham stewart's watching one of our finest broadcasters graham stewart Big name in television and radio. You'll see him doing politics on the BBC. And uh, Graham is a super chap. And as I say, a first class broadcaster. I am delighted. I used to work with Graham. He was one of my colleagues. And um, I wish him all the very best. Excellent stuff. I'm very fortunate to have you, Graham, because good folk are scarce and top broadcasters are thin on the ground these days. Yes, I'm a subscriber. I have been for a year, but I can't find the old Glasgow phone in. The one's about 1996. There are recordings. We'll need to see. It's a question of getting them um, uploaded. Carpe diem. Latin for not cease the day. Seize the day. Grab the day, Richard. Still game knowledge. Absolutely, Richard. Good for you. Evan Thompson, have you ever heard from Mr. Martin? Mr. Martin. It's in the famous call. Yes, Scotty McClue, Mr. Martin. And you'll get a right laugh, as we say. Right laugh. Right, give the fiver, Scotty, says Rab. No, you geese, us a fiver, Rab. You're going the wrong way, Rab. Margaret Bonner, shared Scotty, shared all, mate. So there we are, Margaret Bonner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a fine lady. You're a great woman. That's what I say. Now, uh, keep your calls coming, of course. If anybody wants to Skype in, we're live on the Skype. There's one of people might have had, had a little refreshment. So there you are. You might have had a refreshment. And uh, if that's the case, I say to you, dinky-doo, why should you not have a, a refreshment? A Friday night, sorry. So there you are. Not a problem at all. Another slurp of the old tea. Seize the day. That is fantastic. Let me see if any of you have stuck in a fiver yet. Uh, I know it's doing. What I'll do is, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will share uh, the campaign. There you go. I've shared it on Facebook. So you'll see it coming up. Let me move this to the side just to get this sorted out. I'll hold this. I'll handhold this for you. What I'm going to do, uh, I've just shared it right now. So you'll see that come up on your Facebook. And those of you who are on Twitter right now, you'll see that come up on Twitter right now. Fantastic stuff. If you want to do that, there we are. I shall just tweet marvellous stuff. Uh, and if you get on Twitter, you will get the GoFundMe link there. Now, this has been a marvellous idea. It's wonderful. Yeah, although I say it myself, I just thought I would pop up and say hi to all of you. Because it is Friday night and uh, there's lots and lots to do. Now, I'm just sorry, I'm just working away. I'm multitasking here, guys. If you're wondering, you say, what is he doing at the moment? I am multitasking. There we are. And that's that one there. Right. Now, how is the time looking? I ask you. <laughs> fantastic let's get there to see how the time is looking uh, who could tell me the time tell me the time folks so you've got the time on your phones there uh, put on some Pink Floyd says Peter McKeon <laughs> Brian Gillen's watching a fine fellow dinky do Brian Scotty you're a bar of laugh soldier my ma couldn't do this stuff and you're on a roll says Lisa Ennis. Dinky do to you, Lisa Ennis. Of course we're closing a roll. We're always on a roll, 
So, <laughs> fantastic. If you're wondering what's going on, I've set up a exit full screen. That's that done. Um, I've set up a GoFundMe page, folks. So go on to the GoFundMe website. Just put GoFundMe into Google when the site comes up in Scotty McClue. And if you can give us something, that'd be great. My Wayne has donated £5 of his pocket money, says Angie Thompson. Have you got any DJ skills, says Peter McClue? What a laugh. Peter, McClue is one of the finest DJs in the world. And it's always a huge audience when people are listening because there's fun, there's nonsense going on. 11.29 in Bondi Beach in Sydney. 11.29 in the morning, Keith, in Bondi Beach. That's fantastic. So we're virtually totally reverse. We're 11.29 here. So Australia, of course, a complete reversal. So you're coming up to half past 11 in the morning on Bondi Beach. And we're live on Facebook Live with somebody on Bondi Beach. Woo! At half 11. Time you had a watch, says Peter McCrea. Don't start cheeking up now, Peter. Um, we've got Familiarity Breeds Contempt. Oh, do you like that one? Richard Bunnan says it's 12.30. Yes, it is. I've got 12.30. There, a couple of minutes. Cheers for the shout-out, Algen, says Lisa Innes. Lisa, it is a privilege, a pleasure, and an honour to give you a shout-out. You should do a DJ session one night, says Richard Mackay. We might do that, Richard. Uh, we'll get uh, get going. 8.30 a.m. on the west coast of Australia, says Remo Pacitti. So you're in Perth, West Australia, Remo. Is that right? The Swan River. I think you probably invented DJing Scotty, says Graham Stewart. Yes, Graham. <laughs> one of your original DJs. You will never guess. I don't want to name drop, but I was invited. I mean, I'm working on Thursday, but I was invited to attend a meeting of the who's who of radio of international radio in london and as a joke i said can you squeeze in scotty mcclue and i got an invite from a wonderful wonderful man i said scotty you'd be very very welcome to join us and if you see the names i won't be so base as to drop all the names right now but if you see the names who are attending this function they are the absolute creme de la creme of the uh, radio and broadcast industries. So there you go. It's 7.30 in Court Bridge, says Rab. Oh, maybe my clock's broke, he says. <laughs> Lol, Scotty. Been in Bondi too. It's been a wee while. I've shared many a time with you in Lanarkshire. Still the same, says Tam Penman. Of course, Tam. Full of the joys of living. I mean, for goodness sake, it's half past midnight. I've been out speaking at a dinner. That's why we've got the clobber on, as well as a mark of respect to all you lot. Uh, so there you are. Very, very good. Anyway, I'd better push off. It looks like time's up. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's been a privilege and a pleasure. Lovely to see you on a Friday evening as we go into Saturday morning. I hope you have a gorgeous weekend. Make an appointment to listen to me. Televisions and radios off at uh, 10 o'clock on Sunday evening. Facebook Live, the new media, the new television. That's where it's at. And uh, if you can help to fund Scotty McClure, feel free to do so. GoFundMe.com. Put in Scotty McClure. Stick in a quid or a fiver. And it will be very, very much appreciated. Take care, Sir Rab Hill. Take care to you guys. Love you lots. Many, many blessings. Sleep well. This is Scotty McClure saying Dinky Doo just for you. And Tara Lars, I shall sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody of Wheaters in Au revoir and a cheerio. Ta-la, love's cheery-cheery. Scotty McClure has left the building.